some of these icebergs are melting. You can feel, there we are. The collapse of all fish and seafood species by 2050. World energy demand will grow by 50%. We've had um, food riots. This water manager telling me we can't keep up with the growing population. At least 36 states will face water shortages. America's population could hit 1 billion people. People have seen a nearly 40 cent hike in gas prices in a single day. What is going on here? What is going on here? For a long time, more and better, we're pretty much in the same direction. When we were really poor, um, each increment of uh, economic prosperity brought with it a certain quanta of human satisfaction. Accelerating economic growth somehow in, in the minds of people who don't understand what's going on, that means better lives for people. What we have is this human desire to become bigger and to become richer. Growth is presented as the solution to problems it has never solved. A future of hope and opportunity begins with a growing economy. We are a nation of consumers. I want it all. The ka of Christmas. Consumers like us, Natalie, account for two-thirds of this economy. It's good for America when the consumer spends money. The economy, well, it didn't grow fast enough. We have consumption growing only 1.8%. A lot of negative economic news. A quarter million jobs lost. Consumer spending took its biggest dive. The economy was receding. Major sectors of America's financial system are at risk of shutting down. This is America's economic Pearl Harbor. We are facing the greatest economic challenge of our lifetime. It's a race to correct an economy that's deteriorating daily. Somewhere between seven and eight trillion dollars has been pledged, loaned, yep. or spent to stimulate this economy. We are now being, for the first time in history, faced with this discontinuity that you that what we have been doing for the last thousand years is unsustainable. Now we no longer find ourselves growing happier as our economy grows or even as our individual prosperity grows. Individuals get wealthy from promoting growth. But if that's just a few individuals, but all the rest of us have to pay the price. We are changing and have changed the atmosphere to the point where we're threatening our very uh, sustainability. We are causing an extinction of the working parts of our life support systems, that is the other animals and the plants and the microorganisms of the planet at a scale unseen in the last 65 million years. And there's this culture of growth and the culture of sustainability. They're gonna to have to choose. We keep thinking we can grow forever. And the resource limitation is, is upon us. We really don't get to the heart of any kind of questions that are gonna leave our children a sustainable society. I mean, that's almost un-American to stop growth or be talking about stopping growth. assume that we can grow forever, or if we can't grow forever, that the end of growth is so far out there that we don't need to include it in this plan. Only people who have to kind of take off their shoes to count up to 20 don't understand we have a population problem. Human beings have used more natural resources since the end of World War II than in all of human history before. At some point, human economic growth is going to doom our children. We can have a a transition to a sustainable economy, but trying to overpower the institutional and psychic inheritance that growth has left us is going to be very difficult. It's like a drug addict it's strung out on growth. Now you've got to have growth, you've got to have your, your drug in order to just maintain normalcy. The, the good news is that there's still a wonderful life that we can leave our children.